Hello and welcome. I am Allison Gonzalez, one of the trainers here at Pragmatic Works. And in this video today, I want to show you how you can put a PowerPoint together based off of your Power BI reports. So the reports that you have created at the Power BI desktop, published out to the service, you are then able to use those in a presentation. So one of my favorite classes to teach here to our private clients is the storytelling class, where we walk through how you can create a report and what is the narrative that you need all the way throughout. What are the visuals or effects that you can put into this report to really drive that focus all the way through? It's one of my favorite ones to teach and talk about because we spend a good chunk of time talking about the theory behind data storytelling what we can do with it, what we need to include, or what we should not include to really drive that story all the way through. Now, when we do that, this update came out a few months ago. With this update, we then went from having to show this report in the Power BI service, which is fine, it's great, but odds are you also have other slides in your presentation that you wanna go off of. Maybe some pictures, maybe some other things, or maybe you even have multiple reports. Well, that can be a little bit of a clunky experience if you're clicking between things, clicking between programs. The opportunity for error is just higher. And with this update, where we are able to directly embed reports into a PowerPoint, that lets us stay in one place. You're gonna have your PowerPoint open. You're gonna go through all of your regular slides, and then you can click into the ones that you have reports and do all of the same clicking around that you would do, all that filtering, cross-highlighting, cross-filtering, everything that you were gonna do in the Power BI service with this report, you're able to do inside from your PowerPoint. Keep it set one place. You don't have to open up multiple programs, fumble around in the middle of a presentation, keep it streamlined, make it easy for yourself. So let's go over it. We're gonna go grab a link from the Power BI service for a report. We're gonna take that in and put it into a PowerPoint so we can see how this works and how easy this will be. Also talk about a few things you should keep in mind when you're doing this. All right, so I'm over here now in the Power BI service and I have this report up that I have published. I can see in this report, I have multiple pages here, and I have this report set up with a lot of bookmarks. So these bookmarks linking in to the multiple other pages of my report, and that is one thing you need to consider when you are putting this into a PowerPoint, because you're linking whatever page you're on. So if I'm on the home page, that is the only page I'm gonna see. If I don't have any navigation in that report to my other pages, at this time, I can't get to them. So you wanna make sure you have bookmarks to access the other pages that you have in that report, otherwise you're not going to have access to them from inside of the PowerPoint. So with this one, I have this set up. I have bookmarks on here for all of my pages so I know that I can access this easily from the PowerPoint. So what I need to do up here at my top window, I've got some options. I can get to this from the export button. So if I click this export dropdown, there's a PowerPoint option. And if I select this PowerPoint, I can either embed an image or live data. We wanna go with live data. If I click on live data, you can see that I can directly open this in PowerPoint. Now that's great if you don't already have an existing report. If I have the existing report, I just wanna get the link and then put it into the report on the page that I have it. You can go either way. It's really just a matter of preference and the way that you are building your report. I'm gonna go ahead and hit copy on this and let's cancel. And let me show you the other way that I can get that link. If I go to share right next to export, right here at the bottom, there's a PowerPoint link. And if I click on PowerPoint, got that same window, I could copy this from here or open this in PowerPoint. Again, we copy it, it's the same link in either of those places. So whichever one you're closest to that you wanna click on export or share, you can do that. I'm gonna now take this in to PowerPoint. So whatever your presentation is, plenty of amazing pages, all of your documentation, all these great images, everything else you're gonna ace in that presentation, you will then have the slide that you want to put your report on. Now to do this, unfortunately I can't just 
paste this in and it works. I need to kind of add an add-in to PowerPoint for Power BI. All right, so on your insert tab, right here at the top, right next to that home tab, we're gonna go over to the insert tab. We're gonna go over here to get add-in. So we can see on this insert tab, we have this get add-in section. If you've used this a lot or recently, you can also check your my add-in section to see any recent ones, or just go directly to get add-in. In your search bar, you are gonna search for Power BI. And you do not want the tile option. The tile is not what we are looking for. We want this one, the Microsoft Power BI option. So this is what we want. It's gonna let us embed this whole report into this PowerPoint. Let's click on add. And I do wanna caveat this, some organizations do have these add-ons disabled. So unfortunately, if you cannot access these add-ons, then that just means, unfortunately, this feature is not gonna work for you, but definitely petition your IT department to get this approved. So we'll hit continue. Once we do that, we can see this new section added in here. We get to paste that URL. So I get to resize this to be whatever size on my page I would like it to take up. In this bar right here, I'm just gonna hit Control V to paste in that URL that I copied from the Power BI service. Let's hit insert, let it load up, and there we go. We have it in here. I can now click on my bookmarks. My bookmarks are taking me to the other pages of this report that I have. So I could walk my way through this report, go all the way back to my homepage, use this report exactly like I was in the Power BI service without actually having to be there. And then I could just mosey right on over to the next item that I have. This also works in presentation mode. So obviously right now we're in the PowerPoint creator view where we're adding all of our slides and let's take a look at how this looks if I was gonna be presenting this to an audience. All right, so if I hit that presentation icon, I can now see this is taking up my whole screen. I'm in that presentation view. Now, when I click on my data, it's all interacting, all working together. All of my bookmarks are working. I can click to whatever page I want. All of this is working. This is in my presentation view. And then I can go over to my other reports from here, slide on back over to those other PowerPoint pages that I have. So that is how easy it is to add in a report. A few things you do need to consider with this. You need to make sure that if you have multiple pages that you want to show, that you have bookmarks on that report to make it really easy to access those other pages and to navigate through the report, since all you're gonna see is this one page. But with this report, Making sure that I have added those bookmarks in is really the key. That second step, getting that add on in. Make sure you're searching for the Power BI. We do not want the tile one. We want that other full Microsoft Power BI. If this is disabled for your organization. Definitely reach out to your IT team and ask why. This is a free one, nice, safe, and secure. So see if you, know, you can get that run through. I can also add in multiple reports. So it makes it really easy to jump from the data that I'm showing in my PowerPoint to one report to the next back data, whatever order I want to put this in. All right, thanks so much for spending the time with me going over how you can add in a Power BI report to your presentation. So easy, few things to consider with that. So don't forget, like this video, subscribe to the channel so you're gonna be able to see anytime we have new content out. Here on the Pragmatic Works channel, we love talking about the Power Platform as well as other Microsoft products like Excel, Teams, and even here on PowerPoint. So like, subscribe, comment below if you've used this before or you want to use it and I will see you in our next video.